This video is meant to talk through pages four and five of lesson nine. So you'll notice that this is the same reaction that we saw on pages one, two, and three. It's just that this time we've actually drawn out the appropriate structures that all those compounds are made of. Um, this is not something, so these structures, I'm not ever going to assume that you all would know that the barium is here and the barium is connected to the oxygen and that the oxygen is connected to the, the hydrogen. Um, these sorts of things, it's the skill of creating these structures is not something that we have chatted about yet. Um, so I'm not expecting you to be able to do that independently, if that makes sense. Um, but what you're asked to do here is look through and see what are the bonds that are the same on this side as they are on this side. Okay, so like for example, this oxygen and hydrogen are attached to each other and we have two of those, okay? And then over here, if I look, I have one of those and then another one of those, okay? So you'll kind of go through and count what which are the bonds that are staying the same, which are the bonds that are changing, Okay, and then you will record those numbers below and you'll compare those numbers. Um, just try your best with this. On the next page, on page five, you'll actually see the answer to this, which I'm not gonna click through because I don't want to give you the answer in the video, um, but just try your best with it, okay? And again, you're just counting the bonds that were made and the bonds that were broken. So like for a bond that's broken, for example, chlorine and nitrogen here, I see chlorine and nitrogen on the reactant side. I do not see chlorine and nitrogen on the product side. So it's almost like this chlorine broke off of here and is now part of the barium. And I apologize for my child in the background. I cannot find my AirPods this morning. So yay.